Minions have spawned. I know the true path. Really feel how I want to approach this one. They have a shake with support. Oh. Mid gangable early, if not, I run down. Interesting, I have to shoot. Come hold my hand, or I'll ruin the game, in other words. I'm still kind of near to leak. Would you say to keep a champ pool of four to five champs or just one trick someone? The most important thing if you're a beginner learning leak, or anyone wanting to improve, is that you have one main role that you're playing as much as possible. And ideally, maximum three champions that you play. Preferably champions with a fairly similar playstyle as well. Because that way, every game you play, you're working on the same core fundamentals. Which will make it way easier to streamline your improvements, to set clear goals for you to work towards and whatnot. You don't necessarily have to play only one single champion every game. Sure, I mean, it's, it's not a bad thing, but it's also unnecessary. Well, this sucks. Yeah, this is all gone. My bot lane is getting owned 2v2 as well, so I'm not sure if I can contest much. Interesting. Vigo wants to murder me apparently. All that there is have to kill. Props to him, that was a good roam. So despite Talon getting a good chunk of my camps, I'm actually not behind at all. Get the wisp point out. I have camps spawning soon on both sides, but I think we go to Grump to begin with. Could you give an example of characters that would be a good idea to practice? Well, we can look at it from a jungle point of view. So, you could go for a gank heavy playstyle and play something like Elise, Rek'Sai, and Lee Sin. Or you could go for a farm heavy playstyle with like Diana, Kane, Wukong, whatever the hell it may be. Diana and Wukong are also pretty similar in mid and late game because they're, you know, champions that go in and find good engages and dive at the enemy backline and all that. For mid lane, it could be whether you play mages or assassins. Support? Do you play Enchanters? Do you play Engage? I think you get the idea now, don't you? I hope so. I'm doing my best. Why do you sometimes refund champ requests? Usually I do it after every third game. Because realistically I can't expect a viewer to redeem a request and then watch Till the stream is over. Chances are that sometimes people leave after an hour or two, in which case I refund their points. And then they can redeem again if they're still here, or redeem in the future when they return. I'm not entirely sure why my mid laner is allowed to act in this way and type these kind of things in chat without getting an instant permaban, but once again we're just having some proof that the automatic punishment system doesn't exist. Yikes. An enemy has been slain. 
Hawk is really fit. Shaco is mid. This might be the best chance we're getting at shutting him down. If he's smart, he moves in the river now. No, he actually just runs straight into me. Like, he just turns around and one shots me. Alright, bro. I guess you can do that. My team is moving. I would hope he doesn't come out of this one alive. He doesn't cleanse, he already used that on me. Um, Kenji unfortunately took the shutdown, but at least we kill Koki and deny him a couple of waves. I'm sprinting towards him. He's all in and trying to solo kill Terrius. He just has to buy time so I can make it and help. Don't. Not bad. Not bad. happening but it's not as exciting not sure if I can reach cocky but I'm working on it well, he's recalling in lane but I guess I was too late to reach him so I would just wasted all this time moving here sadly Okay guys, I'm getting closer and closer to muting LeBlanc, for now I'm allowing her to share, my, share her thoughts, but ultimately it's becoming worse and worse and at, at some point I'll have to hit that mute button, it, it's, it's making me uncomfortable. Both. I'm pretty strong right now. Focus should have cleanse again, just need to be mindful of that. Also, they have warden that tri bush. The moment I walked in, they started sprinting back. The Valkyries into this. Oh, well, he would have hit, gotten hit by it if Shaco would have instilled in front of me tanking it. But we got the double regardless, so all good. Demand sacrifice. 50 gold now. 
and we have our storm surge finally. They need this is what I love about Elise. This guy has no counterplay, he just dies whether he likes it or not. The dives are too strong. I think Shago and Talon are getting the Void Grubs. I have handed over 6 Grubs, but we're getting a lot of kills, keeping us relevant, so I think it's worth it. Alone, I think. Well, actually, I don't really know. I don't have a way of knowing. I could have bursted one of them, but there's a 50 50 chance I would get screwed. Graceful champion design. I still can't believe that I haven't done anything to make Cassandra more legit. Like, what the hell? The guy is 3 has full armor, no health, and a sheen. And he just turns around and one hits me. You gotta be kidding me. My entire top's like quarter in the sub now. There's all this. Next item is going to be Shadow Flame. This is the most standard Elise build there is right now. It's very good. If you play this champion, you should go this route in every game. I recommend very much. Crocs are level 1. They didn't take th this camp the entire game. That's really strange. Crocs gives you so much golden XP, it's very troll to skip it. Well, this is a bit awkward. Finally, the wave got pushed in. from Shadow Flame now. And she's cooking. No! Talon! He got me a while after we killed him. The bleed, the ignite, it was all too much. 
I gave him 1000 gold from that one kill, by the way. Heartbreaking. Talon and Corky are strong, they'll just, we don't have to worry about too much. Talon is gonna have a truckload of burst damage now though. It's a bit more chaos. Zero magic resist and Kisande, he's zero six. I would hope I can beat him in a 1v1. Hey, hey, I need him to walk up further, otherwise he's not killable. Talon's here. Wait, I didn't go over the wall? Okay. Unstoppable. Pull the strings. Watch them dance. I think that's it, my friends. It's gonna be difficult for them to come back from this. Yeah, they even surrendered. They don't want to play anymore. Alright. I just want to point out that I was 1 6 earlier today. And now. After winning five in a row, we're having a 50% win rate. Yep. I'm not even over exaggerating. That's actually happened. That's the truth. I got plus 16. Sadly, that's also the truth. I have a final truth for you. 